a risotto in 20 minutes. That's all you need. Wow. OK, let's see you do it. First thing we need to do is to get the rice on. I'm going to use a little bit of onion. I want the white onion because, you know, you don't want to see any colour through this rice. So, onion softened with a bit of oil, then the rice, coat the oil around the rice, then a glug of white wine. So that gets the flavour in there as well. Yeah? That's right. Give me! Yeah, look at Give you! Me. Can you help me? I've only got 20 minutes. So as that wine reduces, I start to add some stock to it. It's add, reduce, add, reduce, add, reduce, and the intensity of the flavours just start to grow and grow and grow. I like just a touch of bite and not so creamy. But Monica, you got cream on your board. That's not for your risotto, is it? No, 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 no. Ah. Sorry, sorry, Marcus. And I'm just using it to, to cook the frozen peas, which have been thawed out, to make a puree, and then folding that through the risotto. Ah. You're not going to make a vibrant green risotto unless you puree those frozen peas. You're just not going to get it. That's a beautiful green. Beautiful, beautiful green. All I've got here is some fresh peas, which I'm going to fold through at the end of my risotto as well. It's really important uh, that the chefs, while they're doing the other jobs, that they keep coming back, they stir this and they taste it. And now this is what I want to see. I want to see this risotto change colour. Look at that. Look at that. So just some parmesan, and I'm doing the parmesan off the heat. This is just going to, to melt into it and really bring this risotto together. Okay. And I'm ready to plate. Mm, I love that, love that, love that. I'm just finishing it with some fresh uh, pea shoots. And there we have it, my vibrant green pea risotto. Wonderful.